Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, April 21st, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I love myself and the value I provide to this world. And today in our series of unfolding events, we have Mercury going retrograde. Mercury is going retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Um, it's going retrograde at 15 degrees Taurus. And this is interesting because a little bit down the line, uh, Jupiter will be actually in Taurus and be going retrograde also at 15 degrees Taurus and retrograde back to five degrees Taurus. So this is a preview. <laughs> this is a preview for that retrograde. And I think that this is meant to support the eclipsy energies. Um, and also as we have the North Node finishing up in Taurus. So Mercury retrogrades have such a notorious reputation, probably because of the Mercury mischief. Uh, but truly, my belief is that when a planet is retrograde, it's review. It's repeating lessons that need review, that need repeating that we as humans may be a little dense <laughs> to accept and absorb. So <laughs> this is this is Mercury's job, okay? Humans, you've been a little dense. Let's review this. Let's review our Taurus lessons. And I do feel like the biggest lesson of Taurus, like I mentioned yesterday when the sun moved into Taurus, is the lesson of recognizing the value of things in your life, the value of yourself, your family, your friends, the value of love, the value value of food, the value of your pets, your car, your house. What provides value in your life? And are you honoring it as such? Now this can also deeply be entwined with our own personal worth issues. And to me, I feel like this is more of the purpose of Mercury retrograde in Taurus is reviewing your thoughts on your personal worth. Now, I am somebody who has Chiron and Taurus, and whew, the worth lessons have always been really strong for me. And I feel like many of us have secret pockets of shame, secret pockets of not feeling like enough, not feeling whatever, is it good enough or wealthy enough or pretty enough or smart enough, any of the enoughs, right? This is the time to review those hidden pockets and see where you can work on shifting your mental energy around your enoughness, around your personal worth. Now, Taurus can also represent where we feel like we need to provide in the world, um, whether it's through our gifts or just showing up making money. And so this is also part of the deeper review, <laughs> looking where we may hold some of those patriarchal, capitalistic beliefs around money, uh, money, finances, how much you've got going on in your bank account. <laughs> Um, how many hours a day you work even, that can definitely feed into this energy. There also may be issues that come up around all those Taurus sensuality uh, energies, around pleasure. With the North Node in Taurus, one of our lessons is being able to lean into pleasure, enjoying our stay on this planet, <laughs> enjoying our stay in being in a human body. Uh, I'm hearing a ding, 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 but this is definitely an issue for a lot of people. And so shifting your thoughts on that and seeing where you can find the beauty, the pleasure, the good, and lean into those energies and holding space for the parts of you that <laughs> just cannot wait to leave. Um, that could help support these Taurus Scorpio energies. Now, we are building to our second eclipse. So this Mercury retrograde may have some extra shenanigans going on. 
anything that pops up, whether it's technology and communication wise, see how it can feed into these lessons. Um, and even if you, <laughs> like me, I feel like my worth is affected. I don't feel like my scopes are as good during Mercury retrograde. There's a worth piece right there. I find it so much harder to reach into the ethers and pull down the words <laughs> that I'm meant to use uh, during retrograde. And I feel like I'm more likely to tumble over my words and trip over my words during this time because that's what patterns have shown me. Um, and I'm working on that in myself, but that doesn't make me any less worthwhile, right? That doesn't make watching this any less worthwhile. The message is still communicated, even even with warthogs in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just noticed a cat knocked over uh, Tara over here. The naughtiness, the naughty shenanigans from the eclipse <laughs> so this mercury retrograde is definitely interesting um for all all of these reasons take it with a grain reach into your lessons because this is part of a larger shift unfolding now besides mercury going retrograde we have the moon in taurus making making strong connections uh actually connecting with Mercury right around Mercury retrograde. I love that because the moon can represent or recognize those little hidden pockets. So the moon is like, I got you. I'm going to show you some of these subconscious beliefs around your worth that are keeping you in patternings on this planet, maybe for multiple incarnations that you do not need to embody anymore. So that is beautiful. We also have the moon and Uranus connecting. In fact, Mercury is going retrograde pretty close to where Uranus is. And Uranus is like, let's phase these out. Let's evolve these energies out. So those two energies supporting. And then the only other connection we have of the day is the moon and Neptune connecting. Like I said, multiple lifetimes, <laughs> multiple incarnations, but that's going to breed some lazy cat. And between the eclipse we have and the sun just shifting into Taurus, Please take time to lazy cat if you need to lazy cat. So our cards, we have the be here now card. And that's what I'm feeling. Be present with these lessons, these lessons that are meant to help sort out the places where you compromise your worth, where you compromise your value, where you compromise what is true and right and good for you. Oh my gosh. There's the naughty cat herself, wolf, <laughs> just for a moment. Making a little havoc. <laughs> um, come on over, wolfies. Just let me think. All right, so besides that, it's interesting. Um, I think that this is something that we all need to address on this planet. We've got the shittiness card along with the playfulness card. And remembering the worth of play, speaking of, uh, remembering the worth of play and where we let the shittiness, the shoulds of the world, um, the judgments of the world, not put our time. Time is one way that we express value for things. Where that can keep us outside of that. The final card is trust. And to me, this is about trusting the process. Sometimes I think like, well, like, oh my gosh, am I getting the lessons? Am I doing it right? Don't worry. The universe will bring them to you. If you're in that presence, in that be here now energy, you will get these lessons and your work is being in the willingness. I am here. I am present. I am willing. Let's do the thing. <laughs> All right. So that's it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.